Hello. It's 7.03. We're eight minutes behind. Seven, 7.03. Same thing. So tonight we are making turkey lasagna. Because I don't feel like making dinner and something else. So that's what we're going to eat tonight. So hello, everyone. Welcome again on this fine Monday. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you guys for following along with us. So again, I'm saying we are making turkey lasagna. Now, I already have the garlic bread in the oven because you want it done when your food is done because when you're ready to eat, you're just ready to eat. Actually, I'm going to take it out right now. I baked it on some. Thank you very much. Thank you. We got it from the grocery store. This is just regular old K. Roger bread. Just Kroger bread. Garlic bread. All What's right, put it in the oven. What's up, New Zealand? Have it on 400 for seven minutes. What's up, New Zealand? What's up, Mississippi? What's up, Verde? Okay. Now, the oven is on 350 right now because we're going to need that for the lasagna. Now, I've already pre-done my noodles. These are regular lasagna noodles. I already boiled them. You can still see the smoke coming from them because I just took them out. Thank you, Alberks. Appreciate it. So after that, I just rinse them off, put on some olive oil on them so they don't stick together. You know, sometimes when it cools down, they start to stick together. We don't want that. Thank you, so, beautiful red. Appreciate it. And what I've also done is I already browned my turkey. This is ground turkey meat. And I added garlic. I added onion, yellow onion. Hey, mommy. Speaking of mommy, make sure you guys go out and get your cooking with Miss E. Spoons, your kitchen spoons, your kitchen set. One What's has up, Cleveland on YouTube. It comes with a set of three. I use this one for the what up, Chantal? For the sauce, but these are your spoons, and they're amazing. So they say cooking with Miss E. It'll be backwards for you guys, but it's okay. It's good. But... So um, you can go to EvelynBraxton.com. And then you'll find out how to get them for yourself. Yay. Okay. So, again, so I put, this is regular sauce. I did not make this sauce. I did not make this sauce. This is classical, regular, to, uh, the tomato basil. Was it the tomato basil one? Or was, this the, or was this the Prego one? Tomato basil. No, this is garlic and onion. I thought I, well, I picked up tomato. Tomato, garlic, and onion. That's the one that I. That's the one I use today. Okay. Yes, my Facebook is hacked. Yeah. And they won't give it back to me for some reason. So we have to figure that out. Yes, positive energy. Okay. I agree. So that means our oven is already preheated. It's on three fifty. I use regular, whatever kind of sauce you want to use, or make your own. But it's turkey, onions. Like four cloves of garlic, guys. We we are a garlic family. We enjoy eating garlic. So we're gonna move this. Vaughn's gonna move this over here, and we're gonna show you guys how to prepare a proper. Ew, I think of this women. A proper um lasagna. Now Vaughn hates when I say this, but I have to tell you guys, it's a lot of touching. So I use gloves. I'm gonna wash your hands. Well, do both. Wash your hands and use gloves. You want to use gloves? Oh, you got to do it. Yeah. Oh, hold on one second. That's what I mean. So, for um, YouTube specifically, the um, we're using, because you've seen Mike, um, he's doing the production now, and he uses a professional camera, so there are no comments there. So, I'm looking at the computer, which is here, and then I'll reference back to you. We both will, but just so you know that um, he's using a production style camera as opposed to just a phone. So. What do I do with the foil? It's right there. Golly jeepers. What do you want? It, I don't need it yet. I, golly, whatever. Okay, y'all. You know, sometimes you rhyme slow, sometimes you rhyme quick. So, whatever. <laughs> so, this is how you do a lasagna, you guys. Now, I have to tell you this. You have to put the sauce on the bottom. If you don't put the sauce on the bottom, your noodles are going to stick to your pan and it's going to be horrible for your life because then all, your, your lasagna is not going to be pretty anymore. You're going to be scraping all over the place and it's going to look like lasagna spaghetti. And it cheats you out of flavor too. Yes. 
Oh, oh and speaking of flavor, I put some onion powder in here. Um, I put some of the Kinders. Those are my favorite. I'll show you what it is. So clean. This is salt, pepper, and garlic. This is the Kinders called The Blend. I'm not getting a check from them, by the way, so I'm gonna make sure I add them. Maybe they can send me some. And the buttery steak has. I'm letting them know that this one's already open, so you know, don't go open up another one. What's up, DMV? Okay, sorry, babe. So just take your ladle. I'm just gonna add a little layer. And you can either spread it around, or some people just pick it up and just move it around a little bit. So we're not doing all that. You're just gonna. Put it on the bottom, maybe a little bit more sauce. Sorry. Mate. Now I have this sitting on a cookie sheet. So when I put it in the oven, I don't have to do all that picking up and stuff. So this is just one little layer. Okay. Yum, yum. Now, I've forgotten to make my cheese mixture. This is ricotta cheese. I use whole milk. I don't do 2%, I don't do low fat. Cause a lot of times in my opinion, just Trina's humble opinion, that sometimes when it's lower in fat, it's higher in something else. Well, yes, you can, sir. Well, if you do some research back in- One the, second, at one egg. If you do some research back in the fifties, um, there was a doctor that was uh, saying that saturated fat was not the enemy to health, but it was sugar. Well, the sugar lobby in this country was a lot stronger, a lot more popular than um, than the saturated fat lobby because there was no lobby for it. It was just on the food. And so they literally formed a group, an entity to do research. And they put out all they put out all these findings that stated that saturated fat was the culprit and not sugar. But what they found is when you take the sugar out of food. It doesn't, or we take the fat out of food, it doesn't taste very good. And you know that. It really doesn't. It doesn't. So to supplement it, what did they do? They added sugar. So that's why so much of our stuff has, is laced with sugar because it, the, the origin of it is back in the 50s when they were doing MREs for the, for the troops. And they had, they started this process for MREs, meals ready to eat. And, um, and they're like, this is a good process. And now that we've got it for World War II, we don't want to shut it down. What do we do? So they took those same facilities and started making up everyday food. And that's where your first TV dinners and all of that stuff came from, out of that program. So the the abundance of sugar is used to compensate for the for the reduction or subtraction of saturated fat. The saturated fat is not the culprit, it's sugar. And then the crazy part about it is sugar is highly addictive. Ten times more addictive than cocaine. That's what the study showed. We did, we did not come up with that number no, ourselves. No. It is the truth. It's, so. more, it's harder. You'd have a better chance getting off of, of, of cocaine than you would stop me sugar. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not suggesting that for any person. No. We're just giving you we're a just frame giving of you reference. We're just giving you a frame of reference that is, you can look it up yourself. We did not make that up. So That's why it's so hard for you to pass the candy off. That's why they get all that candy at the checkout. And those delicious store. sweetened cereals, like Frosted Flakes. Mm -hmm. like They're great. Like That's my Cole. favorite. I haven't, been, I haven't really been having hot flashes lately, though. So, you know, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. So now your next layer is this. You take your lasagna, take your lasagna noodles, and you can buy the ones that, um, that you don't need to pre-boil. Now, I've used them before, okay? And I've tried them without boiling them, and I've also done them with boiling them. I definitely thanks. I like to boil them first, even the ones that say do not boil. I boil them. Why? It just tastes better. And in, in, in my humble opinion, when you don't boil them, they have like this like flat taste to it. It's like it's, it's nothing. It's not a when I found the noodles that you didn't have to boil when I made lasagna, I just put it in there. I didn't like it mm -mm. at all. So the first layer, I'm sorry, baby, you put your noodles in, then you add your cheese and you're going to put about half of the mixture in. And this is what your consistency should look like after you, you know, mix it all up. And I've added um, the Kinder's, the blend is salt, pepper, and garlic. That's only that's in the blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. Okay. So you're going to spoon this on. 
to about half of the bowl. Okay? So what, don't you have to do that three times? No, I don't have to do it three times. Do it two times. Okay, well, uh, Vaughn, will you spread this on while I open the cheese? Yeah. Okay, maybe you can do the cheese because I can't open it. And this is, I got this from Kroger. It's on digital deals right now. And no, I am not getting anything from Kroger. I just like to go there. But I like to go to Aldi to get some, some pineapple wine and some sangria. Well, my gloves on, yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna put just one layer, spread it nice and evenly, because you don't want pieces that have clumps of cheese and other pieces don't have cheese. I can't stand that. It drives me absolutely bonkers and batty. So I put one egg in my ricotta cheese. So just one, all you need is one, okay? And then I added an egg and then I seasoned it. Okay, so I'm gonna put like a third of this bag. This is a that's what you do three times. Yeah, this is eight cups. So I'll probably do like a cup and a half in each section. Cause I like it nice and cheesy. Cheesy. Y'all remember that commercial? And they opened up the refrigerator and it was stinky. And they said, it's the onions. They say, it's not us. Why do we always get blamed? They said, it's the cheese. They said, the cheese. They said, you thought my bag was closed. That's one of my favorite commercials. Mm -mm. No? I've never heard of it. What? I know you heard of I make Kool-Aid for my family. Remember no. that? No? What? You're not. See, so you're not black. See, so you sitting here talking all about St. Louis. You want to put another layer of noodles, guys. St. Louis, St. Louis. But you won't hit me here commercial. How to make Kool Aid for the Mavericks? What? Maybe they had that out on the East Coast. It was everywhere. And St. Louis is on the East Coast. No, it's not. Sorry. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> my bad. I, I, I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm a real smart chick, but geography is not my friend. We do not get along. That's why you don't let me drive. You're from the East Coast, baby. Yes, I am from the East Coast. I'm from Maryland. Maryland, you are. Oh, you wouldn't know that song. But. Okay, now we're going to ladle on another layer of our meat sauce. And you don't have to use meat. I make a mean veggie lasagna. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that for you guys because it, it, it is good. You don't miss the meat. Well, some people will miss the meat because they like the meat. But it's delicious. And, but I don't use I don't use vegan cheese or vegetarian cheese, so you might as well go ahead and eat the meat. I'm just saying that dairy is still in there. Just I'm not baby. I'm, you want to make it? You want me to want no, me to do it? No, I don't. Okay, I got it. I promise I got this. Another layer. I kind of like the um the square ones because they're just three three squares that you put on there, but. This is old school with the little ribbons on the ends. What do you do with those pineapple ones? The pineapple one is on the table, dear. You're already drinking mine anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm not talking about for you. Did you try it? What you yeah. It's delicious, right? You know, that pineapple one is the business. Where did okay. it come from? It came from Aldi. It did not come from K. Roger, but K. Roger, y'all need to step up and sell some. Or we can just go to Aldi. Or we can just go to Aldi. Okay, so we're just putting the rest of this cheese on here. We actually could have put a little bit more on that second layer, but well, here it is. Does it matter like that? It oh, doesn't matter. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay, and my amazing and handsome sous chef is going to remove this bowl for me. That one right there. Oh, and either wash it or put it in the dishwasher. Well, no, we're going to get some more cheese over there. What are the rubber things? The spatula? Whatever it is. The rubber spatula, some people call it a scraper, but it's not. It's a rubber spatula. Mm -hmm. it's another name for it. Call it what you want, but call it spatula, boom, whatever. Call it what you want. If that's what you want, call it in your kitchen. You call it whatever you want in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now me, when I'm done, I like to tuck the edges in, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Mm -hmm. Babe, I don't need any more cheese. So what am I supposed to do with this? If that tablespoon of cheese is that important to you, go ahead and put it in. Put it right there. Yes, babe. Okay, I'm there you go. It. I'm, it's not. That's not wasting food. That one little tablespoon was not going to hurt anyone 
in the world so who was starving. Thank you, honey. Oh, you're so good. Thank you. The best sous chef in the whole world. Thank you. Hmm. So okay. So we're gonna take hey babe, can, why don't you let these scroll up on the on the um screen? Because we, we not it's not it's not the screen isn't screening. Right, I got you. Okay. So we're gonna take another cup and a half of this, maybe two cups. Two cups. Put that on that second layer. Spread it out. Ever so lovingly. Ever so ever so gingerly. Just a couple spots. So by the time I'm done, my lasagnas are usually about five pounds. Jesus yeah. Christ. Wow, we missed a whole bunch. Man. Man. I'm sorry, guys. Bon, can you tell them like to pan down on YouTube so we can see how to make it? I thought y'all could see it on the YouTube. So somebody's watching on, on dual platforms. Thank you for that, by the Thank way. Thank you. Appreciate that. Can you pan down, brother? One more layer. Oh, he's, he's doing it now. Look. Right Woo! Thanks, Mike. Thank you, bro. This is our last Erica layer. Eric loves your apron. Oh, thank you. Tammy Faith made this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is our last layer, guys. Uh -huh. Now on this layer, our very last layer, we're going to put the remainder of our sauce. Just right there? I can only do one scoop at a time. No, no, no. I'm asking a question. Huh. What about those noodles? Just so much? I don't need the noodles. You want to refrigerate the noodles to next time? No, baby. I'm not going to do that. Thanks. That's not gonna work. And we're gonna spread out all of this sauce. Mm -mm -mm. And that's why I have it on a um on a what is that called? Food a foil um surface. So it doesn't sp uh, spill all over the oven. That's all. And that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Okay, get all this. All the sauce. We want all the sauce. Some people want all the tea. Right now, we want all the sauce. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little spoon. Thank you, use privilege. My sauce. Thank you, privilege. I'm just going to tuck the ends so they don't burn. I like those when they're burnt because I pull them off and eat them first. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. well, we're not doing that today. I'll leave that edge for you. How about that? You want that burnt edge right there? Yeah, babe. Thanks. I'm about to use that cheese, sir. Oh, here we I'll put it up. Then we're going to take this cheese. It is. Oh, it's your birthday today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Today is your birthday. Do, 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 do. It's my birthday too. Thank do, you. Do, 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 do. You say it's your birthday. Da, 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 da. Happy birthday to you. You all know that song? That's a real song, y'all. I promise it is. Today's not my hey, birthday. Hey, Amba. What's up, Tawana? Today's not my birthday. It was uh four days ago. Yes. Birthday. Yeah. But thank you, though. I appreciate it. Okay. 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 You don't use mozzarella? You can use mozzarella if you want to, but this is Cheddar Jack. You can use what you can use whatever cheese you want. You can make it your own. You can add oh, mushrooms. You can add. I don't. Well, I don't use cottage cheese in mine because my children didn't like it. Oh. Hey, Dr. Tawanda. Hey, Dr. Ellen Braxton. Okay, and this is it. Now, some people put foil on the top. Why? I'm not going to put foil on the top because I don't want my cheese getting stuck to the foil. Why so do they do with those? They cook faster. Some people do it for like this whole steaming thing and to make it faster, but the, the 20 minutes is the 20 minutes. So that's what we're doing. So it'll be nice and melty and delicious. It's very heavy too. Al, can you um open? Really? Whoa. Whoa. I just need you to open the oven. Oh, that's what I threw in my hands. If I drop this lasagna, I'll be so M A D. Can you open it so I can thanks, baby boy? That's going in for 20 minutes. <clears throat> I'm put the foil back, guys. I'm putting the foil back. Because my sous chef, who was so busy trying not to waste noodles, mm -hmm. is not being a real good sous chef. Mm -hmm. He's been a ooh chef. Ooh, chef. No. What do you need to do? Well, can you clean the stuff? You you know what? Clean. I, I clean everything. He's just he's trying to get all the stuff out of the sink because he has the sink uh 
the um the bowls in the sink. He think I don't see him eating the stuff out of the sink, and it's nasty. <laughs> well, it's not, there's no water in it. Anyway. Okay. All right, people. Remember the progress. What's, what's, the, what's the commercial? This is not for storage. Next time, you can throw this away. Put it in your recycling. <laughs> look at that. That looks good. Uh huh. Look at you, boo. Okay, so twenty minutes. Okay, but well, we all know that Bond always likes to eat all the stuff anyway. I probably could have used some roll ups. Nick could have made some roll ups. <laughs> Can't be coughing in the kitchen like that. Even open my mouth. Hmm. <laughs> Look, you worked on my nerves just a little bit. So I said, "What's up, Missouri in the house?" Hey, Trina. Hey, Travel Angel Planner LLC. Yeah, Victoria ninety three. Hey, hey, what's that, Sherlyn? Sherlyn, just I can't. It's too fast. I did not make homemade garlic bread. I got it straight from K Roger today. I'm gonna be honest, we were in the grocery store, and you know, sometimes at the grocery store, okay, grocery stores, I have a bone to pick with all of you, eat all the above. I don't think it's fair that you guys get to raise the prices of the groceries and I still have to scan my own stuff yeah. and bag it myself. And then y'all, I'm gonna need my little $12.95 an hour. If I'm in the grocery store, I have to do the shopping and I gotta pay. For the groceries, and I gotta pack my own stuff. I'm gonna need my invite to the Christmas party, or something. I'm working there, or a, a, a card, or something. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. And on top of it, I don't like it. Sure. This isn't bad. I mean, we need a choice. This we need a choice. At least you know. At least have two people. At least have two people. With it open, I don't even wait in the line because I like the I like the, the sound of the scan going on with the, with somebody else doing it. What if there's a problem with what I bought? What if it says twelve ninety nine on on the olive oil and it's on sale for six ninety nine? I didn't get my six thousand ninety nine cents. I want my, I, I want that to say that six thousand ninety nine cents on purpose. And now I got to wait, and then the light has to come on, and then he has to help all the other people who are scanning their own groceries. By the time you finish at the grocery store, you're tired because you just got finished working. That's all I'm saying. I'm done. My rant is over. If you have to, you know what, clap your hands. And again, like I was saying, don't forget to get your cooking with Miss E for spoons. There are three of them. We're not doing salad tonight, see? All right, you want too much for your nickel. I play. make garlic bread. I make lasagna. If he wants some green food, he's going to get some green food later. We had salad yesterday. Sure did. So, too much of a good thing is not good. So, it's good, man. That's that. It's delicious. Yeah. So, <clears throat> that's it. Is, is mom in here? Hey, mom. We're red cups. My red cup. That Your water cup? Yeah. Oh, those are our water cups. Those are the cups that we have at the side of the bed every night. We each have several. Yeah. So you can talk about me taking glasses. You take glasses. Okay. They were given to me. This was given to me? They were, they were changing over their cups to smaller sizes. And then she asked me if I want them. I'm like, yeah. Give me four. Oh, my God. Yeah, four. Sam said, you got new Dawn. No, we still use the same Dawn. <laughs> Vaughn and his Dawn. Hey. I'm going to tell you like this. This one. The amount of dishes I could do with mm -hmm. a single squirt of that. He is so um, serious. He is so manual. Serious. See, I call this like a predetermined pour because no matter how you squeeze it, it's going to give you the same. Whereas I can vary the amount that I squeeze with the other one. I can do just as many dishes with half with half of the soap. I'm not done. I had to. I had to. Oh my God. So. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. And the thing is, the problem I have with it is But it works, bud. The problem I have with it is that they already have me as a customer. They already have most of us as a customer because most people are habitual buyers. <laughs> Somebody say, here we go again. Yeah, we're gonna go every Look time. Look at baby sick. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go every time because it's ridiculous. But most people are habitual. I use it because my parents use it. 
So you don't have to trick me. I'm gonna buy it anyway. And it works because it actually separated the grease. I did when it you earlier. Yeah, when I washed out. When I washed you, out, you, you, you washed it out, or you washed it out. This is communications we, made. You, you washed it when you washed I it. I washed this earlier. It had olive oil in it because that's what she made the noodles in. And I just did the test, and that grease just ran away. <laughs> it did. What, the, what, what is it? Don takes grease out of your way. I can't with Bob. I cannot. He literally. He, what brand is the pineapple wine? We got it from Aldi. Where'd you get from? We got it from Aldi. Oh yeah. Yes, and it's and it's really good. And it's what three bucks? It is. Was it like three dollars ninety nine cents? Yeah. And then we got the sangria that was two dollars ninety nine cents. We added fruit and stuff to it. The sangria is gone. That's why I'm drinking the pineapple now. And before everybody found out, it used to be a dollar ninety nine. Well, everything used to be inexpensive. Before. Okay, I don't understand this either. Like, how is there this recession and then things get more expensive? Oh. Uh, by design. Well, how people if, if we're recessing, who's regret? Who, 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 no. Who's getting better? Because they, everybody else can't. What? No, because you can you can cause a recession, and but you don't have to claim the numbers because everybody's still working. It's just you can't get as much for your dollar. So. Who oh. said? Because I got I got plenty for my dollar. Well, and I went to the grocery store. You have store. to be smart. You have to be a smart shopper now. I am a smart shopper. But the point is, is that when you look at something, I'm Put it in here. Oh, when you look at something you used to buy for a dollar twenty nine, and now it's three forty nine. That's you know that's not. It doesn't even. It's just not even about how much money you make. It's just unfair. It's it's unfair to the consumer to have to pay more when the your your raises, your annual raises at work are congruent to the cost of living increases. Yep. It's, it's just it's not fair, but it's done by design. And you got to watch your politicians. Everybody wants to vote for the general election. You got to watch your local. Mm -hmm. Your local. You know, you're off your you're off your primaries and all. That. You got to pay attention to all that because that's where your local decision. That's what's going to hit you in the face first. In my opinion. Celebrities do your own shopping. Yes, I do my own shopping. I do my own shopping every time. I don't care if I have an assistant. I can have 12 assistants. I'm going to do my own shopping. I don't want you bringing me something that I don't want. I don't want you bringing something I'm not looking for. And if there's something that's not there, that's on my list, I want to be able to see for myself what I want to change it with. I don't like that. I don't do the personal shopper. No. I tried it one time. It was like, this isn't available. Would you like you? No, I don't want to use that. I want to see all the choices that I have. To be able to get exactly what I want. And then if I can't get it right there, then I'm going to go to another store because the other grocery store, we have three grocery stores. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to find it at one of them. I'm going to tell you something. On my own style. I'm going to tell you something. Oh, it's on the timer. So I, it's like um, 11, 11 more minutes. Yes, I, I do get noticed, but that's okay. You. You. She. Is people, people say hi. I say hi. We keep doing our shopping. Some people. You well, I'm not trying to cut you off, but if I, was, I was in the whole thing. They asked the question. Some people want a picture, some people don't. Sometimes it look real bad, and I'm like, uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> but overall, we just go and we speak, and that's it. Go out your day. Go out your, go out your shopping. And sometimes we complain together, honey. Like, what? Can you believe this flower is $6.99? Just two weeks ago, it was like $4. Like, what? It's the same flower. It's the same drink. And it just went up $2. For the same flower. And the same amount. It's not like you get 10% more. No. All right, that's my rant for the day. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry for cutting you off, baby. What were you saying, sweetie? You'll remember. You always remember everything. I, I, I truly don't. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say that you're easier to buy jewelry for than, than groceries. It's easier for me to go buy a piece of jewelry than it is to go to the store and you actually be happy with what I bought. Cause he gets the wrong stuff and then no no I, I get the wrong stuff but let me tell you why because i call you on facetime and you don't answer that's why that's but why. i okay I but, but, that, but, but, but okay but no 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 hey tisha but here, here's the thing here's the thing sometimes i tell them that you have to get this from a certain store because certain stores you can get the same exact item mm -hmm. and it costs like seven when we got that olive oil it was like twelve dollars more but I, but for the same. Honest to God, twelve dollars more for the same. But, however, Publix. When I got off the highway, I had to pass Publix to get home. To go to Kroger, which is where she wanted me to go, I had to pass Publix, pass the house, and go to Kroger and come back. And it was almost rush hour. I'm I'm not doing that. 
it was worth the twelve dollars to me just to be able to come home. I was tired. That's that's all it was. That happened one time, man. Let it go. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Say, what, say it one more time. I'm sorry. Say it one more time. Say say the whole the whole thing. Excuse me. Say I'm sorry. Say it happened excuse what? Me, excuse me. I'm trying to watch this. It happened what? Excuse me. No 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 no. Say it again. What? Excuse it me. happened how many times? It happened how many times? Uh, no, 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 no. Y'all don't see this, but this it, woman is pushing me. It happened how many times? <laughs> <laughs> and I need to do what? Let it go. Oh, like okay, y'all heard like, it here. He like said, he video. said that it happened one time. You need to let it go. Oh my gosh, ladies. Do y'all hear this? It happened one time. You need to let it go. So that's going to be my rebut for everything. It happened one time. You need to let it go. That's going to be your rebut for everything. Everything. Right. Have a long time. Let it go. You know what? I need an orange. Give me your orange. What? Where did you go? Oh, 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 I didn't know it was still. I thought you threw it out. I sliced it for you. No, my bad. I can get it. Okay, good. I thought you I thought you threw it out. I thought I saw you toss it. My bad. What? What? It happened one time? Have you done this yet? No. No, I'm finished with that. Okay. And this one go in the dishwasher as well. The dishwasher is full. I'm doing it by hand. The dishwasher is not full, babe. Look at it. It is. <laughs> Look all that room is a half a dishwasher. That they don't put it at the top. There's a hole in half. Clean, babe. That's, there's a half a dishwasher. That's clean. No, it's not clean anymore because I put dirty stuff in there and so I didn't know it was clean. I started pouring into the store. I didn't know that. I didn't know that you started pouring into the store because before we went to the store, it was dirty. That's, that's why I put dirty I stuff in it. But I didn't know that you started. You didn't say, "Hey, I started the dishwasher. Don't put any dirty stuff in there." No, that was part of the daily analysis. My bad. What are we cooking today? We're cooking um, turkey lasagna, and it's. Except it's got seven seven more minutes. Done. Seven more minutes. And I already did the, the garlic bread. Oh wow. Trina let everyone know that Miss E's signature wooden utensil set has sold out in one night. Wow, look at God. She said she will be restocking soon. I'm glad I got so. Mine. <laughs> Mommy's spoon sold out in just this one day. Wow, look at God. That is absolutely amazing. Yay, Mommy. Go, Mom. Yay. <laughs> Clap it up for Mom. Yay, Mom. Glad I got mine. I don't know what that's so much to say. I'm just I'm glad I got mine. <laughs> All right, and they're, they're amazing, too. Nice and durable. Look at that. They yeah, might be bending. It's amazing. You're watching, no, I didn't use this. It's still clean. I think it's good. Congrats, Mom. Look at that cooking with Miss E. It comes with three. It is great. Clap it up for Mom. Mm, 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 mm. Yay, Mom. Now I need to come up with some bowls. And some pots. Yeah. I like remember, you okay, know, pumpkin. When, when we were younger, remember how there used to be like mixing bowls and they were wooden too? Remember those? Yes, uh, and the salad bowls. Yeah. And they the, can't see you right here though. That's okay. Okay. Well, I'm I'm just talking. It doesn't matter. They can hear me. What I was saying is I remember always having wooden salad bowls, like for the, and the big wooden and the things, things that you pick and up. And they were with. really inexpensive. Then now if you want to buy them, now they're really yeah, expensive. Yeah. yeah, but they would be, but they would that would be cool. Yes. If she did that. Cause I would use them I, mm -hmm. I, for some reason. I just I liked it more. A whole right. kitchen set, good idea. I think so. I definitely think so, especially some bowls. Bowls and pots. Yeah, yeah. and then like the big one and the then they fall all fit mm -hmm. into each other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And some tops. Mm -hmm. So we could just take it and. When we had dinner. We had Sunday dinner. We always had a wooden bowl for our salad. Mm -hmm. I, remember. I remember. We had we had wooden mm -hmm. bowls too, mm -hmm. and some of them looked like they had crisscross sign. Not not sign, but look the. the uh, Design. You mean the pattern? Yeah, the pattern, yeah, the design yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Everybody, so everybody granted, granted him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's yeah. when things used to, they were durable. They would last. They lasted forever. This is the one at the house, babe. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, stuff was durable and it worked. And there are things that people used to pass down to their kids, like when they had yes. like corningware and things like that. And it, it just worked. And it, it, if one broke, everybody was devastated. Oh my gosh, my corningware. Remember that? Do they still have corningware? Is that, oh, look. Is that eggs right there? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. What time is it? Is it 7 30? Yes. 
Yeah. It looks like Eddie W. Mm -hmm. That looks like his dad. Oh, our friends, our friends are on Family Feud. So we're excited about them. Okay, let's oh, check the time. You know we have? The, I forgot Four to minutes and 29 seconds left. Do you, do you know what we have that I forgot to bring home? Mm -hmm. We have uh, Sterling Silver. Somebody stole my silver. Well, now we have some more. Because my yeah. dad, my brother took the china, and I get the Sterling Silver so we can bring it home next time we go to St. Louis. To Lou? Yeah, came from all the way from Korea. Yes, just about five more minutes, guys. So I'm very excited. It's going to be so good. There he is. I just saw him. He's on. Not him. On the, he's on the other side. He's on the other side. Well, oh, Eddie? Mm -hmm. I just saw him. Trudy, look, you miss my look, look. Oh, it is Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. for them. I missed what? I missed your first what now, babe? Let me see. Trina, you missed my. Oh, it goes so fast, my loves. Black roaster pan. Yeah, I remember oh, those my, with the hello the, birthday the twin. oblong one. Yes. With the top. Yeah, that had the little specks, white specks in it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have this conversation while we're cooking. But Bond had me. This is wet. What? what? Ooh, something's wet. Anyway. I just anyway, watched it. So Bond had me watch um, was it Law and Order? Was it under Law and Order? Which one? With the girl with the, no, the no, no, extensions. That was 911. 911 with, with uh, Angela uh, Bassett. Bassett. Yeah, here you go. And she looks amazing. So there's this woman and she got extensions. And she was talking about how it hurt so terribly badly. So bad. Come to find out, there was larva in her head. Her maggots. Maggots, loud larva in her head. It shouldn't have been there. So come to find out, and this is a true story because Bond said that he's seen it before. I just didn't pay attention. It didn't matter to me. But yeah. So some people, I'm not saying everyone does. I'm just saying just be careful and you need to ask people where, where they're getting their hair from that they put in your head. Because, because the dude, the hairdresser, got hair from someone who was selling hair from dead people. From the mortuary. From the mortuary. And that's really, you know, shows like that. It was so nasty. And I was like, water, mm, I want my hair natural they tonight. It's all from real life. So, yeah, that that's, if you if you Google it, you'll find it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, I was like, what incarnation is going on? Yes. When I saw that, I went and put a clip right on the back of my head. I'm like, mm mm. It's called pure profit. Mm mm. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a no for me. I'm still going to wear a wig. I just need to take it off at night and put that back on. Just, I'm be just, like, just be very, very careful. Or wear your natural hair. You want. Well, sometimes it's just not conducive to wear your own hair, but okay. it's just not. Everybody wasn't blessed with thick hair or certain things. You know, you just never know why people do the things that they do. Okay, let me see. We have uh, a minute and 30 more seconds. You know, mm. let it cook longer than that anyway, Oh, you heard that happen before? Really? Y'all, I mean, it was just the yuckiest thing I've ever seen, like, in my life. And it actually showed them in the girl's head. I thought that maybe they were just going to say it, but it was, like, literally, like, it's in her head. Yeah. The little moving things. I was like, oh, golly jeepers. I'm like, for real, Vaughn? Because they cut it. Because what they do is they'll cut it off before they embalm. Because that would affect the hair. There's all the chemicals, whatever. So when the person first comes in, they cut the hair down, or whatever, whatever they're going to take from the back, so the front looks like the same person. And they process it and they sell it. Well, so just thank you. Be, just be careful. Um, but the thing is, isn't that illegal? Just like yes. you have to ask people if you can take their organs. You should have yes. to ask you if you can take their hair. It's absolutely like illegal. absolutely illegal. But You're how fine. do people even find out? You know what I mean? People don't even know. You won't because it's a it's a black market. Somebody. Somebody's going to get an infection that they can't cure, and then they'll do a sting, and then they'll find out. But that's after somebody gets severely hurt. But, 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 but that lady on the, on the show got severely hurt. She had maggots in her she's head. Not, she's going to retire. But some, I mean, she'll recover, but somebody might get MRSA from that. Yeah. And, and die. Because it was open. It was a, it was open, so she could she's a candidate for MRSA and with if that. You get, if you get a staph infection mm. and it goes to your brain, you're done. That actually happened to a kid that work with my children. <gasps> no. Yeah. MRSA or they had maggots in their head? No, it was MRSA. Oh. MRSA is It was horrible. a wrestler and it went to his brain and yeah. So. Yeah, that's right. People started to check the bodies now. And there was a, there was one, there was another show. Oh, it's done. Oh, that was delicious.
Mary Watson, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Again, if you're on. Equals... Yeah. Look at that. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, I have to check the comments here. So that's why I'm diverting whatever. So I apologize. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. You should take a picture of it. Can you, can you hold it up one more time for the thumbnail? Yeah, I'll do it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mommy, can you make some potholders too? Yeah. I'm sorry. Here, I'll put it in the thing. Okay, we don't want the cheese to slide. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's, it's in there. Mm -hmm. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut that part right there mm -hmm. off of me. Mm -hmm. I love how you dance around like you're not sure if it's gonna come out. I mean, I know it is, but we can't we can't cut it yet, guys, because um, it has to cool. Because if not, it's gonna slide all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna look good anymore. You have to give it at least five minutes. Look at my. Stuff on my thing. Look, yep. So this is it. Five minutes to cool. That way you can cut it and it'll be delicious. And because what did we say, Von? I need to cut it. Mm -hmm. Lasagna needs to cool before I cut it. Cut it. I didn't say cut that it. part. Cut it. 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 Lasagna needs to cool before I cut it. Lasagna needs to cool before I cut it. You know what? I'm gonna tell y'all something. What? <laughs> so <laughs> I just don't know what's gonna come out of your mic. So go over there. I don't, I don't need any supervision. Just go over there somewhere. Oh, but that's <laughs> anyway. So when I started dating her, people said, you know, I, I'd never seen the show, so. Um, People, my mom, because my mom watched it, but they would tell me things that they would do. And I'm like, okay. And I thought it was for television. But when you see this, where she just breaks out and does stuff like that, or when on the show you may see them and they just pop up and start singing in harmony, they do that all the time. It's like that all the time around that. Well, I'm the only person I know how to be. No, I'm just, I'm just saying that, that, that from, from the inside, because I've never been around a person in television before, so I thought that there was a television person. That's not true. And a, well, athletes, not people. Job. Like, okay. Randall. Okay, but I'm talking about like I never dated anybody like that. So I figured there was a, a television persona and a home persona. She's the same chick all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Save a lie and tell the truth. Guess what? Because you won't be going to have to defend what's true. And you don't have to remember. Boom. You don't have to remember it because it's true. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. I'm just going to be myself. Mm -hmm. You do it very well. It's about the, the hands are important. You got to. There will never be another. Lord Jesus. The hands are important when you dance. I cannot you wait. Oh my gosh. When you do that, what are you putting out of fire? You're saying no. It's just, you know, just. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Try it. No, I'm okay. Oh, well. Get it. That's what you get. Has it been 10 minutes yet? It has not. We just took it out of the oven. It's, look, it's no. It's not sure. ready yet. And I'm, y'all want me to wait to cut it or? Y'all want me to wait no, for me to cut it? Because don't mess it up. No, because they don't have to eat it. I do. And I'll eat it in any condition, but no. No, no, no. We'll wait. I'll wait. I need to cut it. They'll wait too. Or they'll leave. And it'll be fine either way. Excuse me. We've got to make this font bigger. Someone said, Baby Girl 1981 said she loves the apron. Oh, thank you. Tell me Veronica Allen. I just love, you know what I like about YouTube? A lot of people use their real names. That's awesome. I appreciate that. All these names I can't read on Instagram. I can read it over here. But Bon is always hungry. Okay. What? Why didn't I didn't eat today? I had black a, olive. No, I don't put black olives in mine. I've seen that. I don't like that either. But I don't. Okay. You like black olives with your um your tuna sandwiches. Oh yes. With yes. Tuna, black Everything olives, else you like green olives. Like the pizza with green with green, green olives. olives. Pepperoni pizza with green olives. Mm. But okay, I got a question. Mm -hmm. 
this is for everybody. Mm. What in the world is extra virgin olive oil? <laughs> <laughs> you're either virgin or you're not. What is the extra virgin olive oil? And you know what? I've asked people this. Yes, I could look it up, but I don't really think about it other than when I'm eating it. What What does that mean? Does it? Can anybody tell me? I, don't ask me because I, I I should know the answer, but I don't. I just know that I, I eat it and like it. And it's delicious. It's like being double pregnant or something. That's ridiculous. Well, that's called twins. Okay. Then it's being a little bit pregnant or super pregnant. It's called first trimester and last trimester. Anyway, you know what? I, everybody, anybody, everybody with sense knows what I'm saying. I, I just somebody said the same thing. Love, love essence. Yeah. What does it mean? Hi, Miss Moblemore. Hey, what's up, Miss Moore? My mom loves you. Oh, someone said it means it's not as filtered. Mm, it's first the pressing, first pressing of, of the oil. oil. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Someone said they give you more in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there, there's it's light. lighter. We wait, we got one today and say it's a lighter it's taste. Light, yeah. <laughs> Can y'all Or cold me? pressed. Yeah. We are, we are out of the child raising business. And that not. part. Uh, until the grandbaby, until the grandbaby's done. Oregano or Italian season on top. I do that sometimes. I'm excited. I can't wait to eat it. I'm so hungry. I had one little piece of watermelon like all day today. Like literally, that's all I had. And a glass of wine. I had a baked potato when we got back from the tour. And you ate the rest of that yeast, yeast spread that I made. I did. I made an amazing yeast roll, guys. Yeah. It's so good. It just I hate it just, that I ate it. I could have shown it to him. It yeah. takes too it takes too long for me to proof to do it online. I would have to start. What was that? Probably. Just don't do it over food. That's it's not, baby. It's, it's got something on this. You got glue up there? Or something? You know glue? Oh, is it edge control? That's glue, man. No, it's edge, edge control. Whatever. That's what it is. I got it. It's, it's so good. my edges won't pop up. That's good. Well, sometimes you end up overeating, but I haven't been. Sometimes, sometimes they, they said when you don't eat throughout the course of the day, you end up overeating. This, okay, so I'm going to tell you something about her. A lot of people that you meet stress eat, she stress cooks. I'm the one who eats it. You know, and the thing is, I don't stress eat. When I'm stressed, I don't eat at all. But when she, that's why she'll be thinking about mm. you know, upcoming projects she's got. And she'll wake up at one in the morning and make lamb chops. It's just, and then it's not glue. And then I'm, then I'm asleep. I'm sorry. I didn't know what it was. It was stuck to your ear. It was a glue-like substance. It's an edge control. Okay. I, I've never used it. I'm like, anyway. Edge control. Uh, edge control. So anyway. Gotta have edge control. It's a song. So anyway. But it's, it's, oh, it is. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, you should not do that. But um, but she literally, I'll be asleep and she'll say, hey, she'll wake her, hit me, whatever. And it's a plate <laughs> of food, like right under my nose. <laughs> and, matter of fact, matter of fact, I woke up one morning and I'm like, what is that smell? And so I came in the kitchen to get more water and she made a lasagna. And I'm like, what'd you have for? He said, you said you want a lasagna while you were asleep last night. I'm like, I must have been dreaming, but she got up and made me a lasagna. <laughs> and I ate it all day. You really did. I ate it all day. So, I ate the whole this whole thing right here. I ate by myself in two you days. You want to clip some? I ate it by myself two days. Let's I can see. even see the squares right now, right there. They're there. You can see the squares. Cut it. I need to cut it. Yes, you do. It's it's been ten minutes. It has it. Okay. What boy is drunk is double E. What babe? Somebody say somebody. Somebody's D R U N K. What? No. Oh. Oh, well. Let me tell you something. Uh oh. I'm gonna tell you something. There's. Be nice. No, I, 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 well, I don't have to be nice. Well, that's, that's not. Well, be kind. Well, I'm kind of people that deserve it. Anyway, my point is, is this. So, if can somebody explain to me. How, well, I never drunk. how, what motivates someone to get up during the course of their day and, uh -oh. and find negative things to say on a free platform that they're not forced to participate in? You come to somebody's page, you stand here for 50, 50, 49 minutes because we came on three minutes late. So 47, 52 now. So 49 minutes you've been on here and, uh, 
and you all you got is something negative to say, don't you have anything else to do? Don't you have anything else, anything good going on in your life? And I'm going to tell you like this, there's something that it's just an observation I've, I've noticed throughout my life. And I bet you guys have the same uh, experience. Most sane people would. Get to your face, my love. It's okay. They can hear me. I don't care about that. They're looking at you. But um, I would like to know if anybody has ever been criticized by someone who's doing better than them. Because I never have. Anybody that's ever criticized me has always been someone who's doing more poorly than me. It's unhappy people do that. Unhappy, lonely people are the, are the ones that that come up with these vile comments and, and say things that upset my wife and, you know, and upset me in the process. Or I, I just, I, I would like to, I would really, I would really like to study the, the, the psychology behind a person that puts that much time and effort into saying something negative or, or making fake accounts. And who's got the time to do that? And it's like when I when I when I look at comments now, I look to see how many posts they have. And if they've got, you know, less than than 20, I don't even I don't even I just block them. I mean, you see these people that make comments and they have zero posts. You, you know, that's just some clown in his mother's basement or her mother's basement has no friends, probably weighs 400 pounds. And, and it's got nothing to do, nothing better to do, but say negative things about your life. Somebody just said that you're jealous of me. Who's jealous? They said, someone said, you're jealous of me. You want to answer that? No, 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 no. They, they, they said it about you, not me. Say what you need to say, babe. Say, I, I, you know what? I'm no longer telling you to be kind. Say what you need to say, and I'm going to get a knife. So what can goody? No, no, no. It's that, it's that person. Everybody go look at that person's page and say it that. Just look at them. Look at them. Look at what you find. Look at their pictures if they have any. Most of those people don't even have pictures of themselves as their profile or even in their posts. Look at that person's. Look at their profile. You ain't got to worry about that. I, I can't be. Let me tell you why I can't be jealous of my wife because I don't want to do. Me, before you answer, someone asked me, why did I say it? Because mm -hmm. I am so tired of people. Because this, this is a positive place. This is a positive right. home. And this is a positive place. We help people who need help. Yep. We're kind to people and we're nice to people because you can be nice and not kind. But I said it because I don't like it when people hide behind trolling. Yeah, because they I don't say, like it. They wouldn't say it to my if, face. If you're bold enough to say it, then you're bold enough to have a rebut. Right. And no and no one ever says anything to my face. And I, no I, one asked you. I invite, <laughs> right? I invite right? anybody that has a problem to me. Step up and talk to me like a man. I stand up and talk to you like a woman. Well, you do. But if you look at that person, you'll see what I'm saying. I, I'd like for somebody, because I can't do it, but I'd like for you guys to post the, the, your findings when you look at that person's page. Anyway, I can't be jealous of my wife for a couple of reasons. The first one is I don't want to do what my wife does. I'm here because she wants me to be here. As a matter of fact, we used to do it before. And we stopped doing it. That's because I stopped doing it. She always wanted to do it. I said, I don't bring any value. Why do you want me here? You just go do it. But she didn't want to. She wanted us to do something together. So I made a decision early last year. I'm going to pray for them too. And she remembers. I said, you know what? I'm going to stop saying no and I'm going to support you in whatever you want to do. If it, I always did. But if it includes me, then I'll just have to suck it up and do it. This is not my comfort zone. And it's, it's funny because I noticed myself today. I got, because now, you know, the mic has gotten involved. We got a real camera now. We got these lights like we had on the show. And I noticed myself getting tight again. I'm not, I don't like to be in front of the camera. You know, I've, I've learned to do enough not to embarrass myself or my wife, but that's just not who I am. So I don't want to do what my wife does. But the other thing is I don't have any talent in this space, so I can't. So even if I wanted to do what she does, I can't sing. I can't dance. You know, I can't act. I can't do none of that stuff. So there's and I can't cook. So what is there to be jealous of? And, and what's there to be? I get to benefit from all of it. This woman, I'll go to a show and I'll watch her act or sing or both. Then she'll dance while she's doing that. And then she'll come home and she'll cook me a full meal. What do I have to be jealous of? I'm one of the luckiest dudes on this planet. So whoever said that, that's you projecting your inner self, because that's not what's going on here. 
I'm going to cut it. Mm -hmm. Cut it. I'm cut it. Now. Cut it. Cut it. How big do you want it? How big you want? Look, you better look, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you better go somewhere. Right there. You don't have to touch it, though. Why not? Because I, I got it. Cut here from over here. I want that right there. And go down to the middle. Yeah. You, you, got, you don't have a spatula to pull that with. Dear, dear. Look, you run your mouth and I run my business. You want this kind or you want the flimsy one? I want the um the, the silver one. That one might be. It might be. It's right there. Hold it. Hold it. The you said you want the small one or the big one? The silver one. This here. It's a bigger one with a fatter face though. No, there because go. it's gonna get in the way of all the other stuff. Well. These are real lights too, Mike, because it's hot. I'm not hot. I'm not having hot flashes. These lights are hot. But it's cheese right there. We got to get it. Oh. Dear, dear, oh. I'm getting to it, my love. I'm ready. But, I'm a, but to, to, to anyone who feels like they need to be negative to anyone else, it doesn't have to be us. I pray for you right now. I pray for, I pray for your peace. We are happy over here. Uh oh, uh oh. I don't care. I didn't want. cut it properly. Give don't me another. Care. What do you want? Give me another plate. Another spatula? Give me another plate. For what? I'll eat that one. No, i eat that one. No, because I want the people to see. What do you want right here? It's another plate. What's wrong with this plate? There's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Ew. Oh, shoot. What happened? I put my bread in there, but I only wanted it for like five seconds. Did you see? I did cut it. Did you see? Yeah, it does need to cool a little bit more. That's what I was trying to tell Bond. Did you see though? Let me see, baby boy. No, no, I didn't curse. I said shoot. See, look at you. I'm just growing up in the world. Hmm. Here, put a little bit of this on there. Put that on your plate. Gladly. Yeah, dig all that out of there. Well, that's just something I gotta wash anyway quick. Yeah, just do it all. Yeah. I did. Just slop it up. Get that corner. Babe. What? I got it. That's what you get. Look, because it's, it's running over. That corner right there. It needs to cool more, sir. That corner. I'll get it. Watch out. You know better than to put your, put your stuff in my food. Don't do it. Yeah, there you go. Deliciousness and love. I'm gonna let Bond taste this. Hmm. 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 Are you down? No, you wait. You eat. Not eating it very pretty. Okay. It probably needs to cool. A it, oh, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> How about he gonna say it probably? It probably need to cool a little bit more. Oh, no, uh, yeah, cool it did. Hey, no, watch. It's still gonna, still gonna work though. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. yeah. I know it hasn't even settled yet, but, but when my man says he's hungry, I gotta give him the food. I mean, it's, you want you know. some, Jim? Well, that's for Mike right there. So I put it up oh. there. Well, here, I'm gonna give it to her. A lasagna sandwich with the garlic bread? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have done that. Bond said, yes, he has done that. So, yes. Yay for Rod. Right. So, it hasn't cooled down the way I wanted it to, but it's still all right to the touch. But you can still see the layers. See those amazing layers? It's so good. It's so good. I'm going to let mine cool down a lot because I like to have all my layers. I'm not. Nothing, so, nothing but going my stomach. Yeah, you know, I'm going to, I'm going, I think I'm going to start doing, what? um, like the recipe for it. On the thing? But that's why I do, that's why I do it live. Mm -hmm. That's why we just take, that's why we take the time out to, to do the whole step, the whole process. So, it's like, do I do the recipe or do I make it in, live and in person? So somebody just said, "Can I have my yeah, recipe, please?" So, but that's it. What cheese? That's our lasagna. What I use I use cheddar jack cheese, but people can use any cheese they want to. If you want mozzarella, you can use mozzarella. If you we like other cheese too, Kobe hmm? Jack. Um, I said mozzarella. What when you used to do that? Oh, the ricotta cheese. Oh, that's that's part of the filling. They just asked the ricotta. Cheese. The ricotta cheese is in the filling, and. Then the shred. Then I use the shredded cheese. Mike, don't you turn that camera on me. So, 
Bon, bon is getting his life right now. He is enjoying yeah. himself. Yes, I do use the ricotta cheese. The go. ricotta cheese. Y'all, he is daggling there, finish this plate. That's why he doesn't want y'all to see it because you did see me using Tamika Scott seasonings. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did it. I'm not sure if I did it on screen though, because I, I did it when I pre mm -hmm. when I pre made my That's a good uh, my meat. But yeah, we have I, all those seasonings. Yeah, we, we have use all, them we have all, all of our time. seasonings. We, we support we use them all the time. Why not? Yes. If we gotta yes. if we gotta buy seasons, why wouldn't we put that money in somebody's pocket? We know. I put the egg in the ricotta because the egg serves as a binder. And I also seasoned my ricotta. It's really, really good. Damn, dear. It was delicious, baby. No problem. It was not packed. <laughs> don't, don't, you know, don't. What's, what's my uh -huh. biggest pet peeve in the whole entire world? Hmm? Talking and chewing at the same time. You know, I love you, baby. Uh -huh. mm -mm. I can't do it. That's I love not you, baby. Not anymore. Well, because it has to cool down in order to cut, I don't babe. Like that, though. I had to cut it. Yeah, I gotta do something. Don't you put my food in the microwave? Don't you? Ooh. <laughs> It's not that it's works good. on my last. Yes, the egg does make it fluffy too. It, I showed you guys the consistency. I used it, I used ground turkey. But it, it shouldn't be. I can't stand I, it. I I'm gonna tell you. That's one. That's one of the things that he knows I can't stand. I, I make dinner. I make breakfast. I do all that, and yeah. I want it to be eaten hold on, hold on. when it's fresh. Don't yeah. leave it on the table and put it in the hold microwave. You know what? Microwave makes it taste roary. And it is not delicious. And you're proving my point, right? I wanted to eat it when it was hot and fresh. But you wouldn't allow me to, so it cooled off. So I gotta warm it up. You can go to Tamika.com, uh, I believe, or you can go to Tamika's page. That's what you she can does. give her seasonings. And That's I what think she you does get, when I'm right. She I think no, I just, I just, I, you know what? Uh, uh, the moon does not howl back at the wolf. So you know he's howling at the moon. I'm like, I'm not, I, I can't howl. Back. So you can, or you can go. I think it's Southern Fuse. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see which one of them to show Oh, oh bring one that's not open. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is amazing on, on bacon and stuff, too, by the way. And if you want to rim martinis and stuff, it's absolutely amazing. This is the sweetener one. Let me see if it's on there. That might be the only one I mean, it's got like. Southern Fuse. It's okay. Visit us at southernfuse.com. Southern S O U T H E R N F U S E dot com. You can get her seasonings, and they're delicious. Oh, I use that and I use Kinders. I'm not sure if it's Kinders or Kinders, but I like I like it. So, Kinders. so that's not a commercial. It's great. I'm so excited. We're gonna eat and we're gonna open up a fresh bottle of wine and we are going to enjoy dinner. Thank you, person. Um, I am Chef Vanessa. Thank you for putting SouthernFuse.com on there. I appreciate that. And guys, um, I'm not sure if mommy is still doing orders. Um, pre-order because it's already sold out. So, um, and that's at EvelynBraxton.com. You can order that, and then <laughs> liarization. I like it. And of course, TuxedoBrandCoffee.com for our coffee because it's so delicious. And make sure you guys subscribe or just try your first egg. We can't wait. We're very excited. We're excited that you guys came to see us tonight. Came to visit with us. I appreciate you guys coming every Monday. Faithfully at seven, sometimes we're a little seven oh three. I'm like, oh, uh, but it's a real production, though. I know it's a real no, production. No, no, no. I'm, ta I'm talking to them. It's like things go wrong. That's you true. Know, it's like we're not editing. It's whatever. Sometimes you know a light isn't working or it's in the wrong position, and we have to change it. So yes. it's, it's, it's it's real. Yes. But I think that's the benefit. Part mm -hmm. of the benefit. Part of the of doing it, doing it live. Yeah. Because we, 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 we want you guys to see in real time. We're we want you guys rehearsing. to see how it looks in real time. Look at on sweats yeah, and yeah. this yeah. t-shirt. We, yeah, and I have trying, one. We just, cool. Yeah, something you wear around the house all yeah. the time. This isn't. This isn't for. I don't know. It's, it's not for form or fashion. It's just we're just doing it. Yeah, this is not, this is what we do. And here's what here's let me tell you this. So tonight, what will happen is she'll eat a little bit of it, and then she'll critique it. She'll say, eh, "That's not so good." Every now and then, she'll give herself a pat on the back. But what she'll do it about nine forty-five. I need something sweet, and then she'll come in there and bake a cake. Okay, but here's the thing, and I, I really should have done it for you guys because the very next day I made the eclairs again, the ones I put in the refrigerator. So, and I did a, a salted caramel version. I didn't put anything on the inside because Bond doesn't like the um, filling. The filling. He doesn't. He doesn't like filling. But they were so delicious, you guys. I was like, dang. And Bond, he told me, I'm not gonna lie. He 
told me to show it to you guys. And I was like, nah, I don't like pulling my hair back. Nah, just... But you just needed to take a picture. They were beautiful. Yeah. But we, they ate, were delicious. we, ate, we all also of them. ate them so fast. It was though. eight of them. We ate all of them. Was that that many? It was eight. Yes. You had four. And, well, you had like four and a half. And I had like three and a half. Did you really? Yes. And they were, that, they were that, but they were so light and fluffy and delicious. What do you think about making this the exact same way? But adding the vegetable, like the vegetable lasagna, lasagna, like make a high. A well, high this rate. is already like five pounds. If I added vegetables to it, it's really going to be heavy. What does that mean? So get a smaller piece. Eat a smaller piece. What does it matter? Are you talking to yourself when you say get a smaller piece? No, I'm no, no. I'm talking to you because I can handle it. What I'm saying is, is what difference does the size make or the serving amount? Just make it a smaller piece. But I'm just saying, what do you think about making the veggie and this? Well, no, because I season it differently. Well, what? Just season them the way you season both of them. Put I it can't together. because when you season meat, when you season vegetables, mm -hmm. it's different. And just like when you season like steak and turkey and chicken, mm -hmm. like if you have ground turkey and if you have ground beef, you're going to season your ground turkey a little bit more than you would your ground beef because of, of the flavor content and the oil content of the beef. You do? Yes. I do. It's a little bit heavier for your turkey and your ground chicken. That's why I can't but cook. But that, that's, that's for me. I season everything but, the same. That's why I can't cook. So... She made lasagna and it's freaking incredible. Yeah, I made um, turkey lasagna. Oh, I can hold it up for you. Well, it's, it's sliding a little bit because he had me cut it too early, but you she know. She made this. And it is good with turkey meat. Yes. Why'd you start using turkey meat over beef? I get in these moves. I don't really like beef sometimes. Yeah. Like my taste buds, they change every now and again. Mm. And right now I'm in a no beef zone. Which is weird because most of the stuff that you make, you don't even eat, so why wouldn't you just ask us? I don't care. But I have to eat sometimes too. Though. You're not going to eat very much this at all. No. You, you're going to make a plate of it, a saucer of it. You're going to take two bites and you're going to hand it to me. It always happens. Well, maybe I'll just get a small enough piece to eat when I'm by myself. He so you won't eat it. I thank you guys. Oh, ground ground beef is on recall. Are you serious? What? Ground beef is on recall. Who knew? Well, here's the thing. I beef, have made it with just veggies and it's delicious. It's Go incredible. Ahead. Beef isn't good for you. All right, hold on. Hold on one second. Yo, see, I was trying to go and eat, and some somebody had to put up another comment for Vaughn to talk 15 minutes. Well, I'm gonna tell you why. What you're saying is a little bit dislogical. I'm not saying that you shouldn't watch what you eat. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. Maybe not give up beef or, or whatever meat that you that you choose. What I'm gonna say to you is this. Hmm? Somebody said strawberries on recall too. Hmm. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna ask you this. Have you ever met anybody from the colder parts of Russia? Have you ever met anybody from Alaska? Yes, and yes. And so the point is, is that there's not a lot of foliage out there. Somebody just says spinach. There's not a lot of, of, of greenery, a lot of spinach available out there. As a matter of fact, if you, and I actually know a, a person that would classify themselves as an Eskimo, a native Alaskan, and their primary uh, source of diet, source of meat is whale blubber. So they're eating almost 100% saturated fat because they don't have vegetables there because it's cold all the time. And yet these people had lower incidence of a heart attack and hypertension and, and heart disease than we do. So you can say that and uh, people will say that because it's popular to say and then people jump on the bandwagon. But if you do, but if you do some research, you'll you'll be forced to ask yourself the question, well, wait a minute. So mm -hmm. if, if, if food is if, if beef is not good for us, what about the people that have only sustained themselves on on beef or have only sustained themselves on on blubber, which is primarily fat, saturated fats. Why, why, why do they live to be 90 years old? It's just a question and, and do your, and do your own research on it. But it just, I understand. And I have a bunch of friends that are vegan. I understand and I support them or whatever, but to say that it's a hundred percent harmful for you, I think is a little bit um, irresponsible. Anyway, my lasagna is getting cold, so y'all eat what you want. I'm eating this right here. <laughs> okay, so 
that's tonight. That's our Monday. We made turkey lasagna. I thank you guys for being faithful to us. We, we will continue to be faithful to you. And uh, let us know in our DMs or let us know in the comments what you'd like for us to make next or at another time. And you should never tell anybody to send you anything to do. You never even look. I don't, I don't, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really check them like that. But I will on Mondays. You won't. I won't. You won't. Okay, well, put in the comments. Put in the comments. See, see what you want. She's barely so, gonna see it there. I'm just, I'm just telling that's you. Not, no, that part's not true. I, no, I check my own. Not, time. not off, not often. Not we, as often as I should, see, but I do check to, it. She's used to having an assistant. Hey, Daisha. What are you talking about? I haven't had an assistant in years. But what are you talking that, about? They, he did all that stuff for you. I'm just saying, you're just spoiled. That's all. I check my own stuff, y'all, just to let you know. A little bit. No, that's not true. That's not true just because you're on social media all day. Am I? Yes. I'm just not on there oh, that no. often. Just like, just like, see how it's an over embellishment? You have one too. Okay. Or what? Did you do it just one time and I no. need to forgive it? Your words. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless you and good night.